Few actors owned the romance genre in the 80s and 90s quite like this one. Can I get you something? No, no, he's not staying. Mochaccino, decaf, non-fat. No, no, you are not staying. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Meg Ryan romance movies. Well, who are you visiting, Mr. Messenger? Right now? Yeah. You. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're only considering films defined as a romance. They can be romantic comedies, science fiction, etc., but romance needs to be at the heart of the plot. As such, films like The Women and Inner Space will not be considered. Additionally, the entries will be based on a mixture of the film's overall quality and Ryan's performance within it. And every time I think about it, I am more and more convinced that I did the right thing. Oh, you sound really healthy. Yeah. Number 10, French Kiss. It. Well, what do you want? I want you. I want you. You want me? Is French Kiss a great movie? Not exactly. But what it lacks in substance and actors not named Kevin Klein doing respectable Parisian accents, it makes up for in rom-com charm. That is to say, Meg Ryan does her thing. And in the end, you can't help but crack a smile. The film, which revolves around a woman who travels to France to win back her fiance, only to wind up inadvertently helping a local smuggling a diamond, received mixed reviews upon release. However, while the fish out of water story plays up every foreigner in France trope imaginable, a pinch of Meg Ryan movie magic manages to keep it entertaining from start to finish. Ah, what side of the train did you wake up on? Number nine, Joe versus the volcano. How about dinner tonight? Yeah, okay. The first of not one, not two, but three films starring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks as star-crossed lovers to make our list, Joe vs. the Volcano is undoubtedly the craziest. The film's about a man, played by Hanks, who agrees to sacrifice himself by jumping into a volcano after learning he has a terminal illness. Like we said, crazy. Along the way, he meets Meg Ryan's Patricia, and the two fall in love. The first time I saw you, I felt like I'd seen you before. You're not going anywhere without me. Meg Ryan plays three different characters in the film, and manages to imbue each one with enough personality to keep viewers engaged. In fact, while the film divided critics, Time Magazine remarked that, quote, Meg Ryan beguiles in three different roles. We're on a little boat for a while, and I'm so sick. And you're gonna see that. Number eight, Anastasia. On your way. A critical and commercial success that garnered two Academy Award nominations, Anastasia is the only animated Meg Ryan film to make our list. Released in 1997, the movie is loosely based on the idea that Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia escaped the Russian Revolution, as opposed to dying with the rest of her family, as is typically believed. Dimitri, mm -hmm. do you really think I'm royalty? You know I do. Then stop bossing me around. <laughs> While the film is rife with historical inaccuracies and outright fabrications, its whimsy more than makes up for its faults. Meg Ryan delivers a superb voice acting performance as Anastasia, who falls for the ambitious and brave Dimitri. While not your typical Meg Ryan romance, Anastasia will nevertheless have you saying aw before the credits roll. You didn't take the... I couldn't. Why? Because I... Number seven, when a man loves a woman. I think I could love you again. If you could just for once say I don't know. When a man loves a woman may not be the first movie that comes to mind when you mention Meg Ryan's name, but it is no less impressive than any of her other performances. The film is about a husband and wife dealing with the latter's alcohol addiction. Are you guys getting a divorce? Ryan is simply fantastic in the role, infusing her character with the depth and nuance that a serious topic such as alcoholism requires. Her work in the film earned her a Screen Actors Guild nomination for Best Female Actor in a Leading Role, the only such nomination of her career. <laughs> like, yeah! Number six, City of Angels. It's nice to see you again. 
It's weird to see you again. This film is about an angel, played by Nicolas Cage, who falls in love with a woman from Earth, played by Meg Ryan. The fantastical romance proved to be a box office smash, thanks in part to the fact that it brought together two of the decade's biggest names. While Cage's character borders on creepy, well, with the way he silently watches Ryan's character from afar, the film manages to endear itself to the viewer thanks to the obvious chemistry between the lead actors. Reception was mixed, but many critics still praised Ryan's performance. This is what I like best. You haven't even started yet. Number 5. Kate and Leopold You can't live a fairy tale. When a British duke from 1876 is transported to modern-day New York, he falls for an advertising executive, as she teaches him the ins and outs of the 21st century. Starring, wait for it, Meg Ryan and a very young Hugh Jackman, Kate and Leopold is arguably the cutest film in either actor's catalog. You require a chaperone. His intentions are obvious. Oh, I'm alone with you. Do I need a chaperone? We're not courting, Kate. If we were, as a man of honor, I would have informed you of my intentions in writing. Funny and sweet in all the right ways, the movie perfectly combines Jackman's natural showmanship and Ryan's adorable neuroticisms and quirks. While it may not have won over the critics, the film did well at the box office and remains a must-watch for any true Meg Ryan fan. You're tucking me in. Yes. Huh. You're my Otis. Yes, Your Grace. Number 4. Prelude to a Kiss Do you see your family? Your mom? One of the hardest films in the Meg Ryan oeuvre to categorize, Prelude to a Kiss combines elements from the romance, drama, and fantasy genres to tell an unusual tale. Ryan plays Rita Boyle, a woman who falls for Alec Baldwin's Peter Hoskins. However, on the day of their wedding, Boyle shares a kiss with an elderly man, and the two swap spirits. Like we said, unusual. Must have been my kiss is all I can think. Drives men wild. That's right. A dramatic take on the body swap storytelling device, Ryan and Baldwin find a way to make it work, with Variety's Todd McCarthy calling the duo, quote, a winning pair. Prelude to a Kiss is the kind of film you'll be thinking about long after the credits have rolled. I'm sorry, darling, I've forgotten. Number 3. You've Got Mail You've Got Mail there will be no big surprises in our top three picks, but that hardly diminishes the satisfaction of reliving three of Meg Ryan's greatest performances. You've Got Mail once again brought together the enigmatic pair of Ryan and Tom Hanks. This time around, the two play business rivals who enter into an online relationship, with no idea that the person they're falling in love with is the same one trying to destroy their professional life. Something you read about in a book, no doubt. It's funny to you, isn't it? Everything is a joke to you. The film was a massive box office success, no doubt due to the chemistry between the lead actors. It's impossible to watch this film and not swoon over Hanks and Ryan's on-screen relationship. Well, who fights about that? Well, some people. Not us. We would never. Number 2. Sleepless in Seattle Okay, can these two just get married already? The last of the Meg Ryan Tom Hanks films on our list, Sleepless in Seattle is objectively their best movie together. The film, which tells the story of a widowed architect who finds love with the help of his son and a radio program, garnered rave reviews from critics. Roger Ebert called it, quote, warm and gentle, and admitted that he, quote, smiled the whole way through. High praise from one of the industry's best. Hanks and Ryan were both nominated for Golden Globes, and the film picked up a Best Original Screenplay nomination at the 66th Academy Awards. Well, who can believe this? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. So how was your date with Linda? You two look cozy. I'm really happy it all worked out. You were there? You know I miss you, Sam. <laughs> Just don't tell your family, okay? It's just that you can't, you can't expect somebody who you've just met, somebody who hardly knows you, to suddenly say, I love you. Number one, when Harry met Sally. That's not true. I have a number of men friends and there is no sex involved. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You only think you do. In the pantheon of Meg Ryan romance movies, one film stands alone. When Harry Met Sally is one of the best rom-coms ever made. It 
picked up five Golden Globe nominations and has been featured on numerous best of lists since its release. Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan are superb, the script is intelligent and thought-provoking, and the direction of Rob Reiner is as sharp as ever. I like you without your beard, you can see your face. It is my face. Uh... The film's enduring legacy is a testament to both the ubiquity of the narrative and the likability of the lead actors. But honestly, we just love Meg Ryan. <laughs> Mary, could you just hold me a little longer? Oh, sure. Oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.